Hey, good morning, everybody. How are you? It is Monday, and today is an opportunity for us to think about what we want out of not just today and this week, but really what we're working to have in our life. So I'm excited to be with you again this morning. My name is Anna Gibbs, and this is your uh, weekly dose of Monday Morning Mojo. And it's always exciting and uh, really gratifying to start my week with you guys it's been an amazing journey doing this with you every morning for the last several years. So thanks for, for being here. Thanks for being a part of the community. Um, I love talking with you. And, you know, I was thinking about this the other day. And, um, you know, for me, having the platform here to start the week with you is, is just another form of expression for me, which when I think back to who I've been, my whole life, I've always been someone who is looking for ways to express herself. How many of you can relate to that? And um, it's it's an opportunity for me to share my thoughts or for me to be able to do some research, to be able to share with you the things that I'm learning. I'm always listening to podcasts and reading books and articles and collecting information uh, to help the people around me uh, strategize and accomplish the things that they wanna do and live a bigger life. And whether that's personally or professionally or in any area of your life, um, for me, that is something I'm very passionate about as a coach and a leader, uh, as a businesswoman. It's, uh, it's really gratifying for me to see how people can take a concept or an idea and really run with it. So that's a big part of what I think motivates me to do this with you every week and what fuels my passion. And uh, I love the feedback I've gotten from all of you. So continue to share those thoughts with me. Uh, make sure you're a member of our Facebook group, Monday Morning Mojo with Anna Gibbs, where we will uh, share content, especially um, thoughts that relate to the weekly topic, where we share each other's encouragement and ideas. And uh, again, where you can post feedback. So I'd love for you to be a part of that community if you're not. And please share it with your friends too, because I think having more positive uh, places to connect and to spend time and to share ideas is really important, you know, because in, in our world right now, we're connected to so much information and um, that information can, can come at you from a lot of different perspectives can come at you from a lot of different angles. And, uh, you know, I believe that we want to be informed and stay connected to uh, whatever our, uh, you know, what, whatever is in alignment with our thoughts and values. And we also need to be inspired and we need to be encouraged. And that's what I look for every day. You know, who can I talk to? What can I listen to? What can I read that can encourage and inspire me? And um, I think it's then, you know, my responsibility to share some of that with people around me. So uh, welcome again. And that's why you're here, right? Because I think you're, you're probably cut from the same cloth. Uh, I think you're probably a part of this group because you also want the opportunity to think bigger or think uh, in a different way or to be inspired or challenged. Um, and I think that, you know, when we support each other that way, we can become a catalyst for growth. And I was listening to um, uh, an excerpt from an audio book just the other day, and the author was talking about their motto in life. And I, I was really intrigued by that because I've thought uh, often about, you know, what is my purpose? I've thought about what might be my mission statement. I never quite heard it put in, in that context before. Uh, as you know, what is my motto? And I love it because it's simple, right? It's usually, so when you think about the definition of, of motto, it's usually a, a sentence or a very short phrase that just encapsulates um, a theme or a perspective um, or, you know, a feeling. And um, I love to be able to put that into the context of what would be the motto for my life. So just think about that for yourself for a minute. What would be your motto for living a good life, right? So, I mean, 
we can think of different quotes that come up too, right? Like, and, and I share them as well. And, you know, um, I, I'm talking about going a little deeper than that, right? So it's not about saying, you know, my motto is when life throws me lemons, I'm making lemonade. I mean, as, as, as cute as that is, uh, it may be true. Let's, let's create a sentence or a statement that could be uh, a little, a little bit more significant or a little bit more, um, inspiring for yourself, right? So not that that's a bad motto, but what could you really, you know, put together in the form of one statement that really sets you on a direction for your life? That if you were to share it with other people, um, they would really understand a little bit more about who you are, why you do what you do. And if that motto could also be something that, that guides you and aligns you with the right mindset, the right activities, because when your thoughts and actions are aligned, that's when the magic happens, right? I mean, you guys, you get it, right? Because I know I've, I'm there and sometimes I'm, I was just there last week where I realized that my intentions were not lining up with my actions. And so I'm off, you know, I, I, I know what I want to accomplish or I know what I intend to do. And yet there are times when we get distracted, we get uh, discouraged, we get overwhelmed, we get, you know, uh, just pulled in different directions. And so we find that the things that we're doing are off course from what we say we want to accomplish. And so, you know, when your intentions are not lined up properly with your actions, we can find ourselves, you know, getting further away from the goal. And so, uh, like I said, that just happened to me, you know, last week was that week for me. And I realized, you know, by the end of the week, what was happening and how to pull myself back. Uh, and so that's a normal thing. And um, I think that when we can get clear about our intentions or our purpose, or in this case, uh, this week, I'm talking to you about creating a motto, um, not only can it be inspiring, uh, but it becomes the words you can live by. And when you have it in front of you, like I've written mine out and I have it in front of me, um, then it, it just becomes more than a reminder. It just becomes a way for me to get lined up again. So that's our, our challenge this week is come up with a motto that you feel like you can live by. Um, my, my motto really, I think, what came to mind for me last week uh, when I thought about creating my own statement was reflect, uh, I think a reflection of where I am right now too. And so that is probably true for you. So when you create your, your motto right now, could it change? Absolutely. It could absolutely change, especially as your life continues to uh, grow and as your life continues to um, you know, move forward and you accomplish different things, your motto can certainly grow with you. And so, you know, right now, my motto, I have it written down here, is you only come through this way once. So live fully with no regrets, don't waste time, set goals, love hard and have a vision and experience as many things as you can. So for me, it is about knowing that every moment is precious. For me, it is knowing that, yes, I only come through this way once. So how do I take advantage of, of each day, right? How do I live each day fully? How do I grasp each moment? And, and that's not to say that I have to constantly be in motion because that's something else for me personally that I'm learning more and more about uh, with myself because I think I, I went through a time in my life and especially in my career um, where I felt like, oh, I always have to keep moving and I always have to keep doing. Uh, that's a real big part of who I am. And uh, I, I do feel that way most times and I'm learning to accept the quiet and I'm learning to accept the downtime and I'm learning to understand more about myself and how that does help me to recharge. And so I've, I've learned that if I play hard, um, once in a while that gives me the opportunity to keep going and work hard and um, and and yet it's also what I'm what I'm realizing too is that it can't just be in spurts like sometimes it's not about just working really really hard and then taking two weeks off you know I'm learning to take those moments throughout 
the week or take, you know, the weekends for myself to down to download, you know, everything that went on during the week. I think for me, it's a Virgo trait that I have to accept. I don't know how many of you can relate to that. Um, but I, again, going back to my model, because I know we we're only coming through this way once, I want to take advantage of every moment. And I also want to understand how to live life in a way that isn't manic, that isn't about work, 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 work. And then I get to a point where I just have to kind of, kind of totally disengage. I'm learning that it can be more in flow, right? So for me, that is true. What is true for you? Um, I, I also, you know, it, for me, it's about taking chances and not being afraid. Uh, I'm pretty, pretty willing to put myself out there, pretty willing to take a risk. Um, and, you know, for me, I think I'm learning as I, um, uh, I'm in my fifties, I'm 51 and learning that not that I don't care about what other people think. Um, I want to, I still want to connect to being responsible or conscientious, but I don't seek other people's approval as much as I used to. Right. And I know many of you are, are struggling with that too. And uh, there was a time when I really, I, I was seeking external validation and I realized that that wasn't really serving me. And while I want to show up every day in the best way that I can, and I want to show up every day giving 100%, and I want to show up in a way that makes people feel good around me, and I want to give, I want to contribute, I want to teach, I want to learn, I want to inspire, I want to build businesses, and in doing that, I want to help other people accomplish their goals. All of that being true, and I've learned that I still don't need anyone's stamp of approval. I don't need the external validation. That validation has to come from within. Uh, for me, it comes spiritually as well, because I know who I am. I know who I was created to be. And so that's become a motto or a part of my motto in life, especially as I get older. Uh, talk to me. How many of you can relate to that, right? And so for me, it's about just standing a little deeper, a little stronger in my own self-confidence and my own self-image. Um, so that's what I mean by, you know, not being afraid or putting myself out there, taking a risk. And, you know, don't waste time. Again, it's just uh, not, this one is more, I think, big picture for me in terms of it's not as much about the day, although, you know, I do want, I do intend to have an, a, a day where I'm productive. It's really the big picture for me in the sense of, you know, on one hand, you can feel like life is really short, right? And then in another way, you can feel like, oh, you know, um, life feels like, you know, a long journey, right? Because you can think back to something that happened 20, 30 years ago and, and feel the space between uh, that and, and today. And yet, listen, we're still, it's still, we don't know, right? Nothing is promised us and we don't know how many days any of us have. And I'm not going into any kind of negative or morbid place here this morning, but it's reality. And so we need to know that whatever that is, right? Whatever that thing is that you keep saying to yourself that you want to do, and that one day and someday you're going to do it. Well, when is it? When is that day coming, right? And I understand that some of our goals some of our hopes and aspirations may take a little time to get to. That's great. But set a, set a deadline for that or set a goal around when you want to be there. So if it's about taking that, you know, once in a lifetime trip, as you called it, well, when is it going to be? Don't just say someday and one day because life is short, right? So don't waste time telling yourself that you're going to do all these things eventually, right? So whatever it is, starting a business, writing a book, creating a uh, not-for-profit, going on this great vacation, whatever it is, put a plan in motion to have it. Create a deadline in your mind, work backwards from that. What do you need to do today 
to create a path to be there, right? So if it's this great trip, start planning it. What is it going to entail? How much is it going to cost, right? When can you see yourself going there? Can you put money away each month to have that, um, that dream trip? If it is starting a business, what does it look like? What would be the outline of that business? What do you need? Who could help you, right? So I, I think that a lot of us just kind of wish our life away that one day, someday, I hope to. Well, why can't it be today? Why can't it be today is the day you start working towards it, right? So that's what I mean by don't waste time. You know, don't don't want to have regrets. It's another part of my motto, right? I want to set goals. I want to love hard. I want to experience everything that life has to offer, um, whether, you know, it's going out on a day trip and just, you know, exploring some area around me, whether it is that great vacation, whether it's taking a journey through a book, whether it's, you know, watching an amazing video on YouTube about, you know, uh, a, a country in Europe, it doesn't matter, right? It, it's just, what can you learn? What can you experience? What can you see? How can you add or enhance your life's experience? And a lot of that also is about connecting with other people, right? So, you know, who do you want to go out and have dinner with? Who do you want to sit and talk with? Who do you want to vacation with? Who do you want to travel with? Who do you want to do life with? Who do you want to do business with? Um, so those are some of the, the components of what could be a part of your motto. And so I wanted to share that with you because I heard that, as I said the other day, and I loved it because you know, it's simple to understand when you can say, you know, what is my life, my life's motto right now? Uh, what, what statement can I write that really creates a clear picture for what I think and how I feel about life right now? You know, is it, is it something more on an emotional level about letting go or letting something in? Uh, is it about change? Is it about, uh, the way you want to see life? Is it about the way you want to experience life? Is it about the way you want to treat people or how you would like to be treated? What is your motto for your wonderful life, the one life that you get to live? And how can you live it in such a way that you are thriving and feeling fulfilled every day? right? It could be, you know, many of you are teachers and you work with children, you know, uh, and I get it. God bless you. It is not an easy task. I have lots of friends who are teachers and I'm sending love to you and hope that you're enjoying your summer break that just started. And, you know, again, many of us have, have, you know, careers or jobs where we could focus on just one aspect of it and see the, the challenges and the stress that come with it. But could we flip that and look at it from the other side and, and see those challenges and those op as opportunities and see what we do in a different light, right? So I think our motto helps to put in perspective what it is we want to attract in our lives, what it is that we want to see when we look out through that lens. So I trust that this came at the right time for somebody and that this is going to inspire you to sit down and and you know, think about it. So whether it's you know this morning over a cup of coffee or later this evening, I'm going to really encourage you to create a motto, a statement that really puts into perspective how you feel about life, what it is that you want out of life, how you want to experience life. If we can get more purposeful and we can get more uh, specific about how we want to be and how we want to show up, I believe we can manifest so much, right? So instead of letting life take you through the waves, I want you to jump on the surfboard and I want you to navigate it. So um, thanks for being with me here this morning. I would love to hear your thoughts and your feedback on today's topic. Uh, share that with me and each other on our Facebook group. Um, I'm working on some exciting stuff for you. I'm gonna be announcing very soon, um, but we are putting together a new format for Monday Morning Mojo. And uh, we'll be sharing that with you uh, probably in just a few days. So I'm really excited about that. And again, thank you for being here. Continue to um, inspire each other. And I love you and wish you a really great week. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a good one.